really didn't like those hentai videos today. One of them really didn't make sense at all. The first one you showed me, I didn't really read the name of the thing. Because all it had was a school of girls, a few teachers and that stuff, and intermixed was people dressed up in bondage outfits, forcing one guy or another, there was only two actually being used in the one. And then when he finally gets home, you get to see where he lives, he collapses in front of his wife or girlfriend. They really didn't go into it. He gets home, collapses in front of her, she gets mad. And that's when I turned the thing off. I just got bored with it. Sorry, I thought you'd like them. Two of them I wanted to watch, but when I clicked onto them, it said pictures not found. Oh. Shit, sorry, Jeff. Well, one of them I've got ordered anyways. The naughty nurses. I clicked onto that but I couldn't get it up. Because there was nothing on, there was nothing on the links. There was no connections. There's absolutely no way I could watch the thing when it reads, no connection found. Right. And then the other one that I watched, it was good for the most part, but I didn't like all these tentacles grabbing the girls doing things it just wasn't actual reality okay. you like it better when it's men doing the reality yeah instead of these creatures that actually pull you from one world into another and then the actual worlds they showed it looked like someone had half formed the rooms and then splotched dark ink over them Really, that's not what being pulled through into another dimension is like. Being pulled through when a wall becomes transparent and permeable, and you fall through, you fall through into any number of places, from places that are parallel Earths to places that are completely alien because the atmosphere is basically inhospitable to the human race. To places that are pockmarked and covered in fire or solid ice waste. Because there are so many different possible shifts in the dimensions that interconnect and that come together in different locations, as you'd say. They transect onto Earth. Most of them just aren't open. If there's an actual field or someone with high enough psychic energies, they could actually open up the portal causing a shift between two realities. Probably dangerous messing around with that stuff. Yeah, if you don't know where you're heading to, you could open up one to a lot of different places. Because the three dimensions that mankind sees is not the only dimensions there are. There are ten in all, plus two sub-dimensions. There's also known as pocket space. Or there's pocket dimensions that actually don't stay settled. They actually float. There's also holes. Metatheric physics might show you what they basically could look like. But they do exist. And the holes actually float. 
the places that are just out of phase with this 